Testing, testing, testing. Pretty sure my mic is working this time. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I think I think I'm kind of small. So I'm going to put myself in front of the overlay. <laughs> For, oh! Oops, didn't mean to do that. Thank you everyone who is wishing me a happy birthday right now. Oh my god, there are so many of you guys. Thank you so much! And also, I see that Maxon donated quite a while ago, way before the stream started. So I don't know if you are in chat right now, but thank you Maxon for donating and wishing me a happy birthday. And thank you Xenon for just donating just now. And saying, hi Sissy, I just want to say happy birthday and thanks for always making us happy with your streams. I wish you the best. Thank you so much, Xenon. And um, I'm still not sure if my mic sounds okay. Okay, I see somebody says she fixed her voice box. Yes, I updated my voice modules. <laughs> More like I repaired them. And thank you, Alex, for donating as a representative of maids. Wow, Alex is still a maid. <laughs> Happy birthday, my lady. Well, thank you, good sir. And I am so happy to see that everyone is Umbreon's at last. I don't know if that is thanks to Shang, but <laughs> thank you for your hard work. Mods. <laughs> thank you for donating. Zetsubo, happy birthday to you. You are is amazing. Thank you. And uh, for this stream, I'm planning to do a art request stream. So I haven't done that in quite a while. I did like two, I think, in my VTuber career. And this time, I'm planning to do it again because I always think it's a fun little thing I can do with you guys and it's pretty interactive and I think we all enjoy it. But I, I'm already guessing that half the stream is going to be a just chatting stream. Just, just because. And also, um, some of you guys made me stuff on Twitter and I said I was going to show it in stream, so we're going to be doing that first. <laughs> Or I might forget. Should I do that first or after I draw? What do you guys think? Sean, thank you for re... Um, joining <laughs> the membership. Okay, so... Rhino says after. And so is Dragon. Alright. That is fine with me. I'm wondering if I missed something. Right, okay. Xenon. And Dragon. And Hana. I missed a lot. Thank you for re-joining the membership as well. You guys are some of the faces I love seeing in my stream. Because you guys are here so often. Okay, so... As much as I would love to stream for a long time today, sadly, I have a test to study for. <laughs> uh, so I will be trying to aim for the two-hour mark. Thank you so much, Apathetic Deadbeat, for donating $50. You're always coming in with those big donations. I appreciate you so much. Birthday money time. Happy birthday, Cecil. Use this to buy yourself something nice. It's probably going to my mic fund. Um, so, if you were in my last YouTube stream, yes, I know, the mic was fucked. <laughs> I didn't know that until after the stream because I didn't go, uh, I didn't look at the stream while I was streaming. And you guys were saying that it sounded glitchy and deep. And I thought, I thought the deep part was because I woke up in the morning, which was part of it. So it was probably just extra deep. But that was a part of the glitch too. <laughs> I was able to fix it by reinstalling the mic driver drivers. 
I'm not sure how long that's going to uh, last. So I am looking to upgrade the mic soon. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining the membership, Dragon Heart. And thank you for donating uh, Vamp and north side star 20 dollars. thank you so much happy birthday hope you're having a great day one year older 10 times wiser not really sure about the 10 times wiser part <laughs> maybe um, i think i might have gotten one percent wiser but thank you so much and I know, thank you for rejoining the membership and Evolution X Rev. <laughs> Just to put it mildly, how would you put it then? <laughs> how long will this stream be? I'm aiming for two hours, but I'm already guessing that we might go over. Okay, so... Uh, there was something I was going to do... Or talk about? Right! I was finally able to achieve all of the requirements for Twitch Partner. So I have applied for Twitch Partner. Wait. ASMR? Did, did some ASMR thing happen? <laughs> Unintentionally? You're welcome. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for donating, Ember! Thank you for your lovely present. And, um, yeah, so I'm not partner yet because we still have to wait to see if they accept my application. I'm not really sure if, um, if if I have like a sure chance of getting it because I know it's supposedly competitive, and I'm not sure if Happy reaching. Birthday. You prettiest mm. idiot, ten of them all. Thanks for being a beacon that brings together a bunch of lovely idiots. Now, please stop microwaving eggs. <laughs> so I guess you guys can hear that through the. Mike, it's not, it's probably bad quality for you guys. Um, I'm not wearing headphones. <laughs> Sorry about that. But thank you, Dumpling, for the donation. And uh, I appreciate being called a pretty tin can. <laughs> and thank you, Dumpling for sticking around as one of my Discord mods all this time. And no thank you for the stop microwaving eggs warning. I do not accept. <laughs> well, I haven't microwaved one in a while, so I guess you can pat me on the back for that. Thank you, Shiromai, for donating! Happy birthday, Sensei. And... I think I missed a couple membership joins spin town and qj thank you for rejoining the membership um i'm thinking okay hold on i don't know why it's not showing up in my little mini feed but i'll just try to catch them as they happen all right so just to continue, finish my thought from earlier. As I'm waiting, as I'm waiting for Twitch to approve or deny my application for Twitch Partner, unless I'm working on my commission, which I'm about to finish soon, at least in my mind I am, <laughs> I think I might take like a somewhat break from streaming three times a week on Twitch, which which was part of having to reach the requirement that's what they expect because that was really tough on me and I'm about to go into exams so um, if I do get rejected by Twitch partner I will 
try again, but I'm probably gonna have to wait until my next break so I can push through with several days in a row instead of trying to do three days a week. Hopefully that works and also um, I'm gonna, I guess if I get rejected that means I'm not doing something right that they want so I don't think me continuing streaming at the moment is going to help very much with my partner application. Yeah so that's just a little update on my Twitch streams which is kind of relevant to my YouTube streams because they meant that I couldn't stream as often on YouTube. Usually I stream on Fridays. So yeah, um, I did miss last Friday. But also I'm streaming today because it's my birthday. And by the way, Kingu, thank you for saying happy birthday. And thank you for the amazing artwork you drew me that I saw on twitter i kind of really want to show it here so i'm gonna switch over in a second just to show you guys because i really kingu is an amazing artist and good night kingu <laughs> thank you for dropping by um Rur, thank you for donating here's the future goes good luck obtaining partner thank you for the lucky coins <laughs> And QJ, thank you for the donation as well. Alright, so let me switch over. I'm putting on a new canvas. Alright, so as I said previously... Hmm... We're going to be doing art requests, but then I'm going to look at, show you guys some of the lovely drawings and creations that some of you guys created for me for my birthday. Right now, I'm actually going to show you King Goose. If I can find it. <laughs> right here it is. Poppy. Quite large. Okay, so this is Kingu's drawing for me. <laughs> By the way, Kingu, Kingcraft underscore Kingu. Go check him out. <laughs> Such amazing artwork. Thank you so much again. I think he went off to sleep by now, but I really appreciate this and all the other drawings. So, I did have a question for you guys in regards to today's stream, which is, would you prefer that I draw as many requests as possible, which means they're all going to be very quick and probably kind of crappy and <laughs> probably chibis? I mean, I'm not really great at drawing chibis, so they might not be chibis, just messed up faces. Or do you prefer for me to choose, you know, like a couple, maybe three, and try harder on them so they are presentable and actually sort of good? Do a vote! Okay, so I know that. I know that YouTube now has the ability to create a poll unless it disappears on me so let me see if i can quickly get onto youtube i hope i hope my stream isn't going to start lagging from how many windows i have open and all the umbrellas on the screen oh gotta pause that ad all right pose Read the poll. Um, what do you prefer? Trick, scuffed, joins as many as possible. Okay, too many words.
for her request. Choose a few. Um, more polished. Okay, so. Okay, that's it. Hello. Hello, I said knit this pole. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like I still have too many leathers. That's why I can't submit it. Alright, I just created a pill. So, for the choose a few more polished option, I'm thinking it won't be um, entirely just, you know, one person gets the whole choice. I'm thinking I'm going to ask you guys to put your suggestions, and then I think Nightbot has a winner randomizing option. I will do that for a few options and then I'll put those options, like five for example, into a poll and then you guys can vote. So it will be sort of decided by the community. Just with nominations and I won't be able to draw as many as possible. A lot of steps. Yeah, definitely more steps than drawing as many as possible. Which, by the way, I'm gonna say it's still gonna be um, by my just based off of my bias. I can't draw everyone and not gonna do like first come first serve, otherwise, there's probably gonna be a bunch that I don't really want to draw. <laughs> so, I'm gonna draw. By as many as possible, it means as many as I... As many as possible for the ones that I want to draw. <laughs> doesn't mean that I will guarantee um, I'll draw your request. What's up with all the, all the ambience? That's the... That's you guys. You guys are the ambience. <laughs> really? I would probably prefer something like the white boxes but i couldn't find one i couldn't find a extension that does that and umbreons are my favorite favorite pokemon so that's why you guys are umbreons Umbreon is the Pokemon that I overlevel over all my other Pokemons, no matter how weak he is. And I have to put a bunch of uh, TMs on him to make him even workable at a high level. But I don't care. Because Umbreon is the best evolution. Umbreon Social. I did, I was going to draw some type of Pokemon trainer artwork a long time ago, so before I debuted this VTuber, I never got to do it. I didn't finish the artwork. I was scrolling through my folder today of artworks and I saw that working process and I thought to myself, oh yeah, that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all my rare candies. Onto Umbreon. Alright, wait. I'm not sure if this Poe has a time limit. <laughs> okay, I don't think it does. I think I just end the Poe, but it's been three minutes. And Scott's drawing as many as possible is leading by 20% or almost 20%. So I'm just going to end it. And we are going to go with that one. Which evolution is actually competitive? Hmm. So from my experience with the evolutions, of course I never really up um uh, a leveled one 
to as high of a level as Umbrium, but I kind of noticed that they all weren't, you know, t the best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex, for dropping a red don't know. I don't think I've received one of those in a very long time. Wow, Alex, thank you so much. Truly hope that I have an amazing day and unforgettable birthday. You deserve this and more. Well, you are definitely a part of the unforgettable part. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Alex. Ow, Hat Hota Ruby, thank you for the $10 donation and wishing me a happy birthday. Okay, so I guess we can start drawing now. What do you guys think? How many Alexes do we have? Probably quite a few. Alex is a popular name and um, it's actually a name I like. Let's see. So if you guys want, you can start you can start suggesting stuff and since we are doing as many as possible, I will just be looking through all your suggestions and picking by hand the ones that I like and drawing them <laughs> as quickly as possible. I'm going to give myself a hmm, what do you say? Five minutes, ten minutes? If it's 10 minutes and I stream until um, the next hour and a half, that would be like 8 drawings? Well, that is, that is assuming I'm, I'm at my highest efficiency. Cake plus a seal. Hello, Wolfie. That makes me think of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't know if it has to do with my stream avatars and some of you guys appearing as Animal Crossing characters. Thank you, Altair San, for donating, by the way. Oh, Haya Kuya from my Discord. And no, no need, definitely do not apologize for dropping any donation. They are all appreciated. Okay. Cake plus a seal. I've seen that one twice, and one of them is chibi sissy on top of cake. Opening oh, your microwave as a present. Well, that's gonna be extremely simple. It's just gonna be a freaking cube. I think I'm gonna go with the cake one. Just because it's my birthday and it makes sense to start with something birthday-y so okay i'm gonna go with Ooh. five minutes to draw each one okay feeling a little bit stressed about that one second I need to set my tablet into the right display mode. Ellie, I will say uh, my favorite love life girl. I think I might miss drawing her. Definitely drawn her before, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna go with five minutes for each one. Seven, that means the seven minutes mark. I will stop. Sitting on top of a cake. Oh God, like my imagination for this drawing is very cute. So I'm probably gonna <laughs> disappoint myself, especially with five minutes on the clock. Probably should not be using Control Z so much. So let's try to get the heads be round. Oh, 
We'll check out the drawings later. Have fun, everyone. Thank you, Jarens, and I will be posting them on Twitter, most likely. You know, I really like drawing sitting chibis. It's always a cute pose to have a chibi in. Okay, whew. One minute passed, or maybe two. <laughs> Wait, that's bad. That means almost half my time is gone and I didn't even draw the cake yet. Okay, you know what? Going for big cake. And by cake, big cake, I mean a big one layered cake because one layer can feed 400 people, right? Cake. I'm sorry, I don't have time to draw that many cylinders. Alright, can't be a cake without candles. My five minutes is almost up. Can't be me without flowers in my hair. Birthday hat. That looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> Oh god, okay, I actually have a few minutes, or maybe two. Sounds, sounds... Just kidding. <laughs> Only one minute now. Okay, let's add some more cream decorations. I don't know if you guys have ever baked a cake before, but I've never made one without having instant powder. Cake mix powder. And even with that, I fuck it up. As in, I put salt <laughs> instead of sugar. Okay, wait, this is not. This is, this is looking alright. This is looking alright. I have probably like a little bit under a minute of this. Just because I think this won't take me too long. Come on now. Selection source. Selection source. I'm just going to apply a bit of color to bring this to life. This is where I should have looked out for a hose in the drawing. Okay, cute little blue cake. Let's go with that. Oof. Okay, my time is definitely up by now. I mean, I found streaming to a stressful one. <laughs> myself on the back. Okay, well, uh, there's one last thing because, okay, I think the other stuff that's not colored is, is okay for now. That's the first request. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hmm. 
Turning two years old according to the candles. Yep. It's my second birthday. Alright, let's move that to the side. Cut it? You want to cut the cake? for you <laughs> okay next request oh good we don't cut into the chibi of course the chibi has to be edible though you know the worst thing about decorative cakes is the fact that you have to pull off all the decoration just to eat it Makes you not even want to eat it. So everything has to be edible. That's how the pros do it. And I'm a pro at baking the cake through my digital powers. <laughs> with her puppy or cat wearing party hats oh that would be adorable draw Cecil <laughs> are you just imagining me except with the hair parting flipped onto the other side not in life on the taste is weird don't agree Cecil yeah fun is kind of tasteless it's not the best <laughs> I guess I wouldn't even eat on the decorations. Um, but I still think it's better than biting into a piece of plastic if you if you weren't too sure if the flower on your cake was edible or not. Can I share a piece of this adorable cake to your basement? What is living in your basement? Okay, so I like the idea of me and my pets and me, I kind of just want to copy and paste this. <laughs> Still drawing a whole new me. Big sale. That would be a little bit way too low effort. Okay, since this is three characters, pushing me to my limits, I see. Actually, it would be uh, four characters because I have two cats. Everybody just doesn't get to hear much about my second cat because she doesn't bother me in my streams. Okay. You know what, you know what, I can do 5 minutes. It's just gonna be even more simple. You thought this was simple? You have seen nothing yet. <laughs> okay, 5 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna stop at an 8 minute mark. Let's go. Still incapable of drawing circles. Feels weird not adding the second layer to my hair. Okay. <laughs> he was dragging in Rhino as pets. I just realized you guys were both animals. You animals. You know what, with the way this is going? 
might finish before five minutes. into the middle of the screen. Looks like a mouth. No scar for for this one or that one. Star with the moon. Moon is kind of fluffy. Last time I showed the picture of Moon, he wasn't that fluffy yet, but he is definitely becoming a very big cotton ball. Okay, it's not Moon yet. <laughs> Until I color it. Because right now it's just generic cats. Spirits. Now let's see if I can... <laughs> it looks like Hello Kitty. <laughs> oh my god, it does. Moon is a Siamese. Um, but I'm thinking Moon might be mixed. I adopted Moon from the shelter, so I guess they don't really know for sure. They're just basing off of his appearance. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to differentiate outline of a dog from a cat. Just the big nose is gonna help. Everybody forgets. Small. Oh. Okay. bit more scuffed than I was hoping because the line away is so inconsistent. I have yet to reach five minutes, so I'm proud of myself for now. And I'm going to color it, otherwise you can't tell who is who. Yes, these are my babies and also my friends. <laughs> You know, I have three friends. Very, very human friends, I assure you. I always want to choose a darker red for the pants. If you can even call this pants. Do they also talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I definitely talk with my pets and they um they, they talk back for sure. Okay, Spirit so is a silver sable German shepherd. Moon is Siamese with like grayish markings, so I'll get to that soon. And actually, I guess they're both white base. And let me do some markings. Okay, now oh, <laughs> five minutes passed. Got another bit. 
carried away, thinking I had a lot of time. But luckily, I'm not in competition or anything like that, so I'm just gonna finish this drawing real quick. Okay, so Moon has a white muzzle. Thank you for donating Xenon! Now draw Cecile, giving a present to Cecile! Okay, but how are you guys imagining Cecile? Cecile. Because... <laughs> if I go off you guys' imagination, she will look just like me, my avatar. But if I go off the reality... Oh, face reveal, except... digitally. <laughs> And I know that she definitely would not <laughs> represent herself with a character that looks exactly like mine. Sorry to bust you guys' hopes and dreams. I have to do that or you couldn't see the eye. How come? What do you mean? That she wouldn't represent herself with my character? Because she's her own person. She would, she would want to look like a different anime girl. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Spirit is gonna be a bit harder to draw than the other two because um, her markings are kind of not so clear cut. I'm taking my time at this <laughs> at this point because I gotta do my pets justice. So, I'm just gonna go with a grey face. She has these rings around her eyes. Okay. That's good enough for me. Still wants her art to be great on this. Yeah, isn't this just great? <laughs> this is a cute collection though. I'm kind of annoyed by the skin color being off on these two, so let me just fix that. Okay. Next! Can I draw a flower? <laughs> hmm. Anything more specific? What kind of flower? Sicilian tomato suit? Do you have something for tomatoes? I mean, I love tomatoes, but not enough to wear them. Umbrian umbrella. Listen, umbrellas are sort of hard to draw. It would be a very very cartoonish umbrella and I can do this in under five minutes so umbrella Myself with a flower crown? I already have a flower crown. <laughs> Not missing anything, am I? There you go. 
Umbreon Umbrella. Irvin, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday and dropping by. Umbra Umbrella. Looking evil. No, I don't like these stripes. They ruin Umbreon's pretty face. I'm sure an Umbreon umbrella exists somewhere. Draw us the data bytes. So Rur, one of my moths, was kind of brainstorming what data bytes should look like some time ago. I don't think we ever settled with anything. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you guys have any bright ideas? So I'm kind of blanking on this, which is why I haven't represented you guys yet. But if I were to choose, I would probably... Uh, I would probably do something really simple, like a pixelated, <laughs> just, you know, some pixels. That's you guys. Just a few pixels. And it would probably look like, okay, so, I'm <laughs> so my logo is a fox because that's one of the animals that I used to represent myself for a while now. Um, so I'd probably go with something like pixelated, a little fox face. I'm real but why? And I'd probably end up looking like some, some mascot that already exists. So maybe something like, I don't know. <laughs> Ram chip? You guys really want to be chips? I don't even know what a ram chip looks like. So I saw people say that they wanted to be... What was it? Micro SD cards? <laughs> you really want to be a chip? USB drives? Okay, that's a little bit cuter than a chip. You could probably draw a cute USB drive. Okay, so I'm thinking something like... Maybe I actually need to draw in pixels for this. <laughs> Which I can do. Okay, so, first of all, this isn't canon, okay? This is the brainstorming process. I have to make it symmetrical. And I'm pretty sure this is somebody's logo already. <laughs> because it's just so generic. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much it. Definitely somebody's logo. Well, I guess I'm getting sued if this becomes canon. Okay. Watchdog's logo? Well, I haven't seen it myself, but I won't doubt you. You want to be a sour cream and onion chip? Come on, salt and vinegar is the best. Pixel the version of flowers on my head. Ooh, okay, that's kind of cute. Let me get rid of this. Okay, actually, let me just keep it for now. Um, pixelated version of flowers on my head? Flowers on my head are not a really bright color. Okay, this might be kind of hard to do pixelated flowers. Not even gonna bother to make it symmetrical. No. 
can't. It definitely doesn't look like the flowers in my head. <laughs> Just looks like yellow flowers. Do you guys want to be like? You want to be like the sun in Teletubby? It's like a little face. I can't make you smile, so you have to be doing this. <laughs> oh no! Pringles are not real chips. Sun chips are the best. I don't take criticism. Other than the fact that I guess they're selling themselves as healthy, but they're not really. <laughs> Character from Undertale. I guess I'm becoming a pixel artist. A fidget spinner. I actually bought quite a few fidget spinners. I like fidgeting. There's some cool ones out there. Don't judge me. Okay. Next one. So in us breaking the piñata, candy falling off. You already know ROCs, you know. If you don't, some then just do some USB if you do the bites. Okay, we're going from a, a two object to horror characters, to mono characters in a piñata. <laughs> hmm. Might be too much to do in five minutes. Jumping out of a present with fireworks. That's cute, it reminds me of those memojis or the Snapchat. Whatever they're called. <laughs> what are they called? The memojis on Snapchat. They they always have some stickers like that. I haven't used Snapchat in a while. Boomer GIFs. <laughs> the ones that only your mom uses. Emoji. Oh. I like Doritos, but only occasionally. <laughs> Sometimes I crave Doritos. Most of the time I'm like, meh. I prefer hot Cheetos, flaming Cheetos, and hot fries. Those and Funyuns. Funyuns is one of the only chips that I like that doesn't have a strong flavor. Boss, you're my mom. Well, I'm a hip mom. <laughs> Don't you dare call me a boomer. Oh, and Jesus. I do love Jesus. I say that just as Jean says you are a boomer. Taco Doritos? Never tried that. Egg Cecil sitting on a plate. We already know what Egg Cecil looks like if you were in my Discord and you've been there for a while. <laughs> you know that drawing an egg is one of the challenges of an artist? I don't mean like just this, by the way. I mean a realistic egg shaded in its entirety. Um, because supposedly it's very hard, it's, it's a very hard shape. I'm not really sure how true that is, but <laughs> there's some type of proverb out there about drawing eggs. You know what? I'm not gonna include that. It ruins the egg shape. It ruins the authenticity of the egg. <laughs> All the suggestions so far have been Cecile. Jeez, I'm so tired of her. Thank you for joining the membership at Ventus Blaze. Okay, this plate looks rather flat. You know what, I want to fix that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bali me as an artist. Here we go. Now the play has some depth. <laughs> and there you have it. I'm not even gonna bother to color this one. <laughs> I'm gonna put the plate with an egg next to the cake. A very delicious, delicious birthday dinner. You know what? Placing it next to the cake makes me want to color it. So I guess I am coloring it. Meanwhile, you can give me another suggestion. Umbrans are cute. Bird. 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 Who's that? What? <laughs> Not what I was expecting. They're talking about this. Talking about this thing. You want me to draw a bird? Mine is better. <laughs> is that bird? Yes, it is. That you can't even tell which one is the original. Hmm. Legoshin? Is that what- oh. Furry time! Should I use a reference? <laughs> Should I draw him from memory? He might not look so great from memory. Legoshin. Legoshin's best boy. Yeah. Probably one of the few times that I don't mind the main character in anime. I do think he's a little bit too OP. I don't really like the whole magical becoming like muscular thing when you eat meat. Come on. But out of all the main characters. I guess it's more like I like him. Le I like the other characters less than I like Legoshi. Which probably sounds like I don't like the show very much at all. But the reason I like the show is for the story. All right, let's go. Hmm, I already forgot his eye shape. I looked at the reference and then I forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this by looking at the reference only once. Not including the before time. And then doing it from memory after that. Just to save time. Okay. He has a very round head. Okay, I think I got it. Let's move to a different part of the screen. You can definitely do this in five minutes. Okay, seven minutes into the hour right now. So I'm gonna stop at the 12 minute mark. It's a bit more fluffy than that, I think. It's probably gonna end up looking like any generic wolf character. There are quite a few wolf characters <laughs> in anime. Alright. 
So, I didn't read the manga for this, but I did see some of the artwork from the manga, and I think I like the manga style a little bit better than I like the anime style for this show. Thank you, Baka Jean! Red donation at 199.99. What's that about? Are you trying to sell me something? Thank you so much, Jean, to a momentous and prosperous future. Happy birthday. Wow. That has just invigorated me. I'm gonna work very hard to achieve such dreams in my future. And you know what? Jean, if you want me to draw something, let me know. On the stream, I mean. <laughs> If you have a suggestion. Jean says, hmm. I think he has a rather large nose. Not too sure. On the clock, I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't know how much it looks like him. I feel like his eyeballs are like super small, but they're definitely super small. But I don't know how it's still gonna look like him. Maybe it's because I didn't include the little facial markings. What did Jean say? Sissy chug water? <laughs> Wait, is that actually what you suggested? Chat redeemed hydrate, okay. Okay, let me just... Let me just finish the Lego sheet. And then I'll grab, um... Oh, my Gatorade, it's my bed, so it's not too far away. Like really not looking like him. What went wrong? <laughs> I think it might be the nose. Oh right, his eyebrows. Getting rid isn't water. What? You want me to get water? I have to walk so far away for that though. to leave. Am I? Or are you guys ho holding me hostage? I'm not looking any better. I should just give up at this point. Well, okay, maybe. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like him. Nose looks like. I like it doesn't look like this. Very tempted to look at the reference again. Maybe it'll look more like him. I draw a neck. Okay, that's my attempt. Let me look at the reference. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> well, one thing for sure that I got wrong, which is the markings are pretty low to his face. And then. are above them. I don't know if that helped though. I think there are just too many too many things going wrong here. <laughs> I 
Okay. Well. Diamonds are up. <laughs> I'm not gonna struggle any further with this, so... I guess that's it. <laughs> Looks dead inside. He is dead inside. That is his whole character. Okay, more like he's dead on the outside, but on, in, in the inside. He had some feelings in there. Much like... Me. Okay, let me grab my drink! Draw male wife Joe. Choked. Was that your plan all along? You were trying to choke me? Made me get my drink just to choke? <laughs> okay, so I like the Joe idea. Let me pull up a reference for Joe. Foxy Joe. Let's see if I can find him on Google Images. Hmm. <laughs> I've been yelling at the cats. That's one of my favorite memes. I might do that. I just might. Okay, let's see. How beautiful I can draw Joe in five minutes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Stopping at 11.20. Gonna draw a little bit, tiny bit <laughs> more. Than a crappy chibi. Might not be able to color it, but he only has like three colors on him, but maybe I will. Be able to get some of those really important colors on. He did say he wanted to co uh, commission me, so maybe it's a bad idea for me to draw this. <laughs> Losing a customer. <laughs> because. I already drew it. But it's okay. If he commissions me, it will look much better. Joe 2.0. You know, he's more of a um, down Ingo type of person. So maybe I shouldn't have started with the up and go. But it's too late now. Okay, jeez. Better start drawing faster. Being quiet because this requires all my concentration. <laughs> Can't really see too well what is on his neck, but I'm gonna assume that it's a ribbon. I'm sorry, Joe, and any Joe fans if I got it wrong. <laughs> the one and only male wife. Is hey king. Okay. Hmm. 
I think this area is a little bit too spiky. I don't think it's supposed to be spiky at all. They all dull. It would just like Joe. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I look like Joe with a slightly, slightly different hair color and haircut. Okay, Lord, Lord, help me. Ah, oh, I can't forget the cracks on the face. Oh, I didn't even draw eyebrows all this time. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, five minutes just passed. <laughs> oh, I guess that would be it. For Joe. To see happy birthday X O X O X O L E T S G O O. Thank you, Jess, for donating and wishing me a happy birthday. Hugs and kisses for you too. Doll vibe from Bloodborne. I feel like Joe probably gets that a lot. Okay. Draw some of us, right? Sean or Alex. Wait, what did Jean suggest? Somebody tell me. See checking Gatorade. <laughs> thank you for donating, Anthony M. Really, thank you so much for the ten dollars. And that's a good idea, Jean. I think I will turn that into an emote. Um, I might make it water though. I don't drink Gatorade that much. I only drink Gatorade because my parents keep buying Gatorade. <laughs> Let's move Joe out of the way. Oh. Okay. And since I'm turning this into an emote, I'm not gonna put a time limit on it. But since it's just an emote, it won't take too long, so bear with me, guys. Sissy chugging Gatorade. Let's go. Usually my emotes are pretty ugly anyway. <laughs> They're pretty scuffed. They're not as try hard as some other people's emotes. Am I drawing this too small? Eh, it's an emote. They're small anyway. Jean says, well, guess this is happening. Why do you sound disappointed? <laughs> okay. Let's make sure. expression Name <laughs> are great 
used three of my most cursed emotes in succession. Sounds like it looks like a stuff in a bottle into my face. not the most rep accurate representation of a water bottle. So for chibis, you want your head to look more... You want the head on top to look bigger. Alright, most of my chibis I have little ears. That's why this is looking so strange to me right now. That's okay. human ears. Like I almost forgot that I have human ears. Yeah, the bottle has to be massive. That's the whole point of this emote. We have to exaggerate, exaggerate the focal point. Okay, let me not draw the back of the head for now, because I think that depends on... Ooh. Okay, so I'm thinking... <laughs> I want to draw a hand in here somewhere. Too sure how to fit it. <laughs> Thank you, Jolly Lucario, for donating. Just wanted to say that I'm a big fan and wish you a happy birthday. I'm glad to have you as a fan, Jolly. Maybe I should call you Lucario, because Jolly might be an adjective. Okay, so I usually lay out and draw my emotes without jackets, without my jacket. Hmm, okay. Actually, since it's a water bottle, I guess I should keep the other side. I guess... Thank you, just your average deadbeats, for donating two deadbeats. You guys are the best. Alright. The hair part is sort of weird. I'm not too sure. Where to end it? I always struggle with drawing long hair on a chippy. Oh, 
Okay. Almost done with this one. Colleen should be fast. What is my favorite cake? Hmm, I think sponge cake. The reason why I say I think is because all I know is that it's sort of soft and spongy and not as sweet. And somebody told me it was sponge cake. I'm not sure if it's for sure or not. But I like the, you know, the type of cake you, you can get when you go to um, the grocery store and they have like those fruit cakes with like tons of fruit on them and the cake itself is kind of, you know, spongy. <laughs> Thank you, Zade, for donating. Finally, you wanted to start drawing in your life because of my art, so decided to buy your first tablet. Hope you can get as good as me one day. Happy birthday! Well, congrats on finally pursuing that go. It's a very fun hobby to have because you can express yourself in a different way and good luck on your art journey. And thank you, Thera, for becoming a member. Hello, Thera. I think this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I think it should be going this way. You know, because gravity. leave the eyebrow off and I'm almost ready to color this really quickly what is gold yes gold is used in stream avatars which is the umbrellas on the screen Okay, let's see. I should probably pull up one of my emotes as reference. Looks like my hair color is the same color as the background. Which is why I had to do that. Is not an eating snack, Cecile. There is a eating ramen, Cecile, drawn by one of my 
Discord members. It's pretty much the same thing because ramen... Ramen is all my meals as well as all my snacks. Okay. Here you go. That's going to be a new emote. Just gonna have to remember to upload it later. All right, since it's already eleven thirty. Let's see, how many did we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we did 7. Not bad. Since it's already 11.30, I think I'm gonna do the last one a little bit more serious. And pick a few of your choices, and then let you guys vote. So basically, the other suggestion. Just check one second. For whatever reason. Okay, one second. For whatever reason, the chat on my YouTube is very behind. I just want to make sure this works for Nightbot. Okay, it does. So, I'm thinking about fan art suggestions. It doesn't have to be fan art. Well, I'm gonna try a little bit harder on this one, so if you give me a meme suggestion... <laughs> I don't know, it might not work so well with this format. But you can use... you can suggest anything. And I will pick five winners randomly using the Nightbot function, and then I'll put those five into a poll. So you can suggest now. The Nightbot picks someone who is active in chat. Alright. Let's choose our first winner. Akmal, thank you for joining the membership. Winner is Baka Jean. <laughs> Jean, man of the night. What was your suggestion? Or new suggestion? Okay, and, and while I'm waiting for that, you guys can keep suggesting because as soon as he gives me his answer, I will pick another winner. What's happening? I'm asking you guys to give me suggestions for my last artwork for this request stream and I will put five of them into a poll. Did Jean suggest something? Ask, wait, what, what should we suggest? I guess Jean is thinking about it. So, Jean, get back to me on that and I'll pick another winner for now. What the hell? <laughs> Shut up, Nightbot. <laughs> Rigged. Okay, precious Shun. Shun.
What is your suggestion? <laughs> Calm down, guys. Jean says, suck it. Wait, so Jean... <laughs> Did you come up with something yet? I'm staring so hard at chat. Sissy peace sign. Okay, so... Bakajin wants sissy peace sign, which... Uh, you mean as an emote, correct? Or do you mean like an actual drawing of me doing the peace sign? Pizza and then disappears. Oh, the audio died. Hello, somebody said the audio died. Audio is fine. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, Sean says uh, lapis lazuli from the land of lustrous. Okay, nice suggestion. So let me write these down real quick just so I remember. Uh, peace. Sign. Lapis. Okay. Gonna choose three more winners before I put them in the poll. Kido Kudo. Let me know. Thank you, Acmo, for the donation and the cake sticker. All right. So, you guys, please let me know what the winners are saying because it's hard for me to see. Meanwhile... Seven Umbrella? Did Kyo appear yet? Because if Kido hasn't said anything yet, I might choose someone else. Since that kind of implies they're not active in the chat right now. Zade says IDK. Ooh, you don't think so. Nothing. You haven't seen them. What about Seven Umbrella? Nightbot's not very good at choosing active chowders. Marco Cosman? Marco, are you in chat at least? Someone. All winners are die. Someone. Hello. Is anybody out there? Anybody? Speak to me. Who's killing the winners? <laughs> Conspiracy theory right here. One of you guys. One of you guys is killing every single person who wins until you get chosen, aren't you? Is that your strategy? Okay. I have not seen Marco yet. Have you guys? Nope. Nope. Okay. 
we're gonna keep going until we get three more come on guys just three more maybe two more since this is taking a long ass time <laughs> is nightbot choosing inactive viewers is that what nightbot is doing Puri puri puree puree where are they? Thou? <laughs> Nightbot sucks. Next. <laughs> okay. This worked the last time. Nightbot really does suck right now. Nightbot wants to win. Petra? I'm not even seeing any of these people. Oh, Petra, hello! Petra exists, finally! Someone. Okay, Petra. The mic is yours. Let me know um, a suggestion that I can put into a poll. Or. My last art request, which I'm thinking I might take up a little bit more seriously. Albe Albedo from Genshin. Okay, good suggestion. Albedo. All right, let's go for one more. I don't have the patience for five. <laughs> All right, last winner. Mado, you're gonna have to pray that Nightbot chooses you. Ben, Ben, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. Calling once. Calling twice. Bimbabin's here! <laughs> what up? <laughs> Ray from Eva. Okay. I think that's like... Oh! I was gonna say it was a character I don't know, but I, I realized what, what Eva stood for. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put these into a poll. Let's go. Uh, vote your favorite for me to draw. Let's see. Beto. Initial impact. Lapis. No, I did not watch Evangela Le 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 Leon. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, but I really like the intro opening music. Papus, Hoseki, Mokuni. Um, the last one, Ray. Angelia. Okay. Can I click create? Oh wait. Hmm. Okay, ask your community. There's only four winners because choosing the winner is just taking a really long time. Alright. 
who is up and you guys can vote now i'll give it two minutes so until 11 51. Albedo from Genshin Impact currently holds the top spots with Sissy P. Slain and Vanish Emote holding second, and Lapis and Ray are pretty even. Damn Genshin Simps. Genshin is brought up quite a lot in my streams, just from people asking me if I will play it for them. The popularity of the game is still at its peak. Okay, one more minute. Looks like the winner is pretty clear unless the tides change in the last second, though. Don't say the S word. You won't you get banned. Oh, simp? Well, we're on YouTube, not Twitch, so luckily I think YouTube is fine with simping. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know what we're talking about, Twitch banned some words some time ago. Words such as simp, inso, a virgin, I think are a few. <laughs> Thank you! Okay, so the vote, I'm gonna end the poll now. Thank you guys for voting. That's what I was about to say. And Albedo from Genshin Impact is the winner and held the top spot the whole time. So I think that is pretty clear. No question here. Let's start drawing a beta. I'll give myself maybe um, 20 minutes. Don't want to go too far into the hour. We still have to look at... I'm gonna show you guys some of you guys' creations from my Twitter page at the end of the stream. Albedo. Genshin Impact. Looking for a reference. He's a very pretty boy. Just observing all my references so I get a better idea of what he looks like. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna create a new canvas. Okay. Chat is um kind of behind for me right now, but it's quickly catching up. So I'll give that a minute. And let's start drawing. Hmm. Let's not go too hard on the angle here, just so I can complete it in 15 minutes. I said 15 minutes, right? Nerdy Romantic. Yeah, I watched the trailer for him. I don't play the game, but my sister showed me. I do hope 
hope I can get a little bit of color into this. At least the hair and eyes. Two of the most defining characteristics of an anime character. I would like to think that my sketching skills have improved since my first request stream. Let's try to draw him without making it look too much like the reference, or that's going to be kind of boring. And yes, I draw my guidelines on the same layer as I draw the sketch, slash lines. Because everything is messy anyway, and I can easily erase this way. Kind of like on paper. You just draw the guidelines very lightly, and then you erase them later. Okay. Making his eyes a little bit too smiley. face shape. Almost done. Already looks really good, thank you, Sindri. I wanted to draw him smiling. He looks like the type of character who would have a soft smile, but looking at the references, I never saw him smile, so and go with the canon. Otherwise he might look out of character. here. Yai Yai Sakura from Honkai and Yai Miko from Genshin got the same voice actor and the same name, it appears. The voice actor can make or break a character. People say, can you fall in love with a voice? Of course you can. Duh! <laughs> is that even a question? There's a reason why singing is considered a um, seductive quality. <laughs> Let's add some eyelashes without making him look too much like a a woman. Wait, hold on. Looks like he might have like single. I'll ignore it. 
that he had like a single eyelash, but I'll draw more than just one. And I don't like the position of this eye. Going to League of Legends so you can be toxic. <laughs> Is there really that much worse in that game compared to other games? I feel like gamer to gamer culture is to be toxic. Cannot escape. just really fires everyone up. <laughs> I don't play many MOBAs. I don't think I ever played one for an extended period of time. than other types of PvP though. Yeah, I'll post this after I finish streaming. I'm actually not too sure if I'll post the other drawings. <laughs> if this one looks decent, I'll post. MW2 lobbies take the life out of you. I've never experienced being in a mic on lobby with any sort of gamer group. And I hope that it never will. <laughs> missed out? Are you talking to me? I'm missing out on experiencing gamer culture. Mic lobbies are brutal, especially if you're a female. It's sad, honestly. Yep, <laughs> I've seen YouTube videos of of people recording their experiences and it's quite a uh, spectacle of performances. Okay, so I moved the other eye, but I didn't move this eye. So this eye is a little bit off now. Just fixing that. Okay. <laughs> I should probably hurry up or I'm gonna take much longer than 15 minutes.
Let's play some week, some game next week. On Twitch, maybe, yeah. As long as, long as I'm not too behind on my commission. Oh, and uh, the collab stream that I mentioned, gaming, of course, it got postponed, so I think that will happen next week. So, already some gaming planned for next week. Taco the hair. Okay, I really do not like that eyebrow. I think I drew his eyeballs a bit small. He looks kind of startled. Killing siege over simple mistakes is crazy. I mean, friendly fire? <laughs> mm. I don't know about you, but friendly fire, in my opinion, is always just a bad idea. Especially if you're playing with strangers. focused. I should probably put a paintbrush in his hand. <laughs> I'll keep this expression. Styles such as this one, kind of fluffy, kind of messy. They're always so fun to draw. Make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm glad you like the expression. So the length of the bangs that frame the face is also one of the defining characteristics of an animate character. So I noticed that the ones in front of his ears are not too long. So basically if you're drawing a character, if you're drawing fan art, fan art and you're thinking to yourself, why does it not look like them? Check the bangs and their length <laughs> might be the problem area. size a little bit bigger because we are on the edge of the drawing which should have thicker lines add a kick to my youtube emoji yeah i'll try to remember remember i don't have the best memory when it comes to adding emotes but i'll try this guideline <laughs> I 
แค่กูว่าThis drawing is going well so far. No major mistakes. It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Feliz aniversario. Sounds like. Happy anniversary to me. <laughs> okay. The hair style is actually pretty unique. A mixture of pot bag hair and fluffy hair. Ooh. It's always hard drawing this section. Of pulled back hair. That's the part that's starting to go straight back. I'm following his reference pretty closely for the back strands. And the hair is fluffy. He tends to kind of go too far off from the reference and doesn't look like the character anymore. You wish his hair get buffed. No worries, lazy Neko-chan. His hair in-game is super scuffed, though. <laughs> oh, that's why you want it to be buffed. Oh. I kinda wanna look, look at what it, what it looks like. Mono. Let's see. Okay, I see. It's not. It's not as fluffy. It's a bit more reserved. More flyaways than in the original. You remember they said that they were going to fix it, though you don't know if they have. <laughs> that many people complained. Imagine being the 3D artist on that. Everybody telling you your work is shit. Hello, Cleanser. Thank you for wishing me the happy birthday.
we're currently drawing our last request of the night, which I'm trying a bit harder on than the others. These are the other ones we did. <laughs> Eight in total. Seven, actually. I think there was an like eighth, but I erased that because it was so fucked up. And this one I chose by making a poe based off of you guys' suggestions. Albedo, Genshin Impact 1. Genshin fans are very strong. I didn't forget his ponytail, which is um, one of the reasons why his head is a little bit strangely shaped at the moment. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't draw that because it's a very high color. I think it's a uh, hood, actually. Not a collar. I'm not gonna go too far down, but... Just so it doesn't end in an awkward place. I'm gonna have to draw a little bit of his outfit. It's very confusing. Yeah, I can tell using that reference. It looks very confusing, so I'm glad that I'm not drawing too much of it. Once and for all. The Dynano. I draw that wrong. Ooh, I guess I made it too high. Goodbye. Hold hard work. <laughs> I guess I did not complete his hairstyle once and for all. Go a little bit um, 
so low on this one, did not look too close at the reference. Alright, that's good enough for me. Let me zoom up to his chest. You can see what's there more clearly. Very pixelated. But I see a gem and that's all I will include right now. Just so it looks more like him. I'm going to include the hair and eye color, and that will be it. I think I spent more like 30 minutes on this drawing. Not the wrong color. Kind of like a very pale peach. Pan. Beige. Not really peach. Try to get some rest when I can, yes. I'm already thinking about my bed. Okay, let's see if I can use... Ah! Bucket two, maybe? Okay. in some spaces. Okay, I think that's all I can use it for. Okay, so... As soon as I'm done coloring in the eyes, I think... Since it is already past 12, um, out of the presents that you guys gave me, I will watch the video that some of my Discord members made. I did not watch the whole thing yet. So I will watch that on stream, and the other drawings, I already posted them in the gallery on my Discord server. So if you want to see that, you can look at my Discord server or on my Twitter where I retweeted all of them. Let's see if I can get a Discord emote. I mean, command, not emote. Please do unboxing. <laughs> I don't have a PO box, I don't get any physical gifts. They're all digital. And unbox your digital gifts. One of my favorite eye colors on an anime character. bit more because I can. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it for now. Get rid of this. That bother me. There's too much going on back there. You know what? I'm thinking that I want to post this, so I'm just gonna clean it up just a tiny little bit right now because I don't want to revisit it after the stream. What I mean by that is add a little bit of cross hatching here and there. Just a little bit of shading. This shouldn't take me too long. Okay. 
Let's see, let's just make this neck shadow bigger. Oh, hello, Moon. Please do not unplug my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Don't touch. Don't touch me. That is the whole reason why my last YouTube stream had to be restarted. Because I got the mic to work, but then the moon unplugged it. And it would never refuse to work. After that, it never started working again. <laughs> you can thank Moon for the deep voice. Okay. You can sit in my lap, Moon. <laughs> that is an acceptable position for you. Thank you, Moon. <laughs> it's Moon's birthday now. This is all who? This is Moon's channel. Moon clearly knows what you guys want. for now. I added a few more hair strands, so I'm just gonna try to fill those in. Okay. Well, there you have it. 30-ish, 30 to 40-ish minute sketch of Albedo. Just making sure I didn't forget anything obvious on his face. one I'm gonna post. I'm not sure about the others. <laughs> Admission to have this drawing as your <laughs> people. Of course. Permission granted. Okay. Let's save it. Beto. Thank you, Petra, for the, for the suggestion. 
Okay, now last thing to do. Let me see if I can get this video playing for you guys. Oh, crap. So first thing first, before I do that, I have to make sure that my output capture is capturing the sound. Oh crap. This might be kind of hard. Okay, I should capture the sound now. I'm gonna have to mute myself while the video plays. <laughs> so I'll react afterwards because I don't have my earphones in. They're out of battery. Yeah, they're always out of battery. So I'll react to it afterwards. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, let me try to make the gate really high. Just kidding. I think I can just turn my noise gate up really high. And then I can keep my mic unmuted. Hello. Hello. You can probably hear some clips at the beginning and end of my sentences. Maybe. You didn't hear anything weird, right? Because I, I just started playing the video for two seconds. Check if the gate is working. I meant. You couldn't hear the video. Oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> you probably could hear the video, I forgot. The output capture, capturing it. Did you hear the video? Making it louder. It's kind of quiet. Can you hear it now? Okay, great. All right, so let me... <laughs> oh right, my background music. Let me turn it off. Oh, somebody's gonna have remind me to turn all this stuff back on next stream. Because I'm gonna forget. All right, just ensure all my background music is off. In my screen. Can you reposition this? <laughs> All right. Good. Now we can start. <laughs> okay, so let me just look at the description for this. Hi, Cecile. It's your friendly neighborhood rhino delivering once again, except this time it's a different. It is different than what you would expect from the bottom of our hearts. We would like to thank you for everything you have done, even if you, even if you didn't feel like you did anything at all. You've made people like me pick up drawing, inspired people to get better, and made lots of memories that we will never forget. We don't know how long you will stay with us. I figured now is the best time for us to do this. We hope that many more memories will be made and many more birthdays will come to you. Happy birthday, Cecile. Thanks for being the person you are. Thank you so much for writing this. I assume Rhino, you wrote it. Very sweet. You can be very sweet sometimes. And I guess this is credits. So, background music is made by Gim V Sin, and the video is made by UX. And Rhino. I think. I think there are probably some other. I saw a little bit about a little bit of this, um, on Twitter. I think there are some artworks doing this. Remove the hand. <laughs> Wait, don't worry. I'll just. I'll just. You know what? I I can remove it. There you go. Thinking it was going to be hard to remove, but really me, it's not. <laughs> All right. 
for their Sasong from your Discord community. Yeah, so this is made by people who are in my Discord server. Should I pause? Okay. I'm gonna pause to read them. <laughs> so it's kind of like a Kudo board in video format. That's so cool, you guys. I love the effort that you put into this. And from what I can see so far, very well made. I love the music too. Anna, happy birthday to sale. Drew this as an appreciation because you inspired me a lot. Your streams and artworks have always been great and calming, even if it gets chaotic sometimes. Off my ass off. Either way, be sure to rest and take a break every now and then, especially sleep when you can, that's all. Thank you once again. And you can see this very, very pretty artwork. I can see that you used lots of perspective in this. And that back view, such as in the end screen. Very well done, Hannah. And thank you for the message. Blue Water. Happy birthday, Cecile. You've been my inspiration ever since I followed you on YouTube. And I hope someday I can be as good as art as you. Bless you and keep doing what you love. Thank you. Oh, water. Look at that. Oh, body. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one on Twitter. I don't know if you didn't post on Twitter, but I'd love to see a bigger version of that. It might be in my Discord server. Alex, ladies of sale, I wish you the best for your birthday. Thank you for your work and inspiration. And I love this artwork and this white haired one is made Alex. <laughs> so cute. Ah. Underscore O O O O underscore. Happy birthday to sale. I am Toto. May I ask? Fashion everything to you. Do you think job and interest could coexist? And do we think that reward itself already could be demotivating? Wow, asking me all the live questions, but first let me compliment you on your amazing art skills. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get through this video. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me see if I can answer some of your questions. Is passion everything to you? As long as you can pursue passion while still meeting all your basic needs, I think that is the most ideal life to live. Yes. Job and interest could coexist? I think yes, it can. You can definitely enjoy a job and you can definitely hate a job. <laughs> Not all jobs are the same. Do you think that reward itself already could be demotivating? Hmm, not really sure what you're asking there, but I think reward is the definition of motivation. So, mm, I guess no. I think a reward would be demotivating. Answer is tomato. Then, okay. <laughs> I was for a second I thought to myself if I could read them while I was playing, but definitely can't. There, Cecilia, the fact that you changed lives with your art is something to be proud of, and for that we appreciate your existence. I am happy you made me want to pick up my pen and draw again. Thank you for your wonderful creations. Happy birthday! You guys have not seen Bane Fairy's art before. They are they improved so much as an artist since the beginning of when I start seeing the art in my server. Look at that, that's amazing. And uh, Catnip, I haven't been around your streams much. Thank you, uh, Catnip! <laughs> or, Anno, are you the same, Catnip? For donating, this ain't much, but happy birthday, sissy. Wow, perfectly timed. <laughs> but those times that I were with you all and oh, interacting, oh, I really had fun. Thank you so much for being who you are. For caring about us and for inspiring us by doing what you do 
Thank you, Caleb. And I recognize your art style. You're the one who drew parrots in me, correct? Thank you so much for showing me again in your adorable art style. It's the same cabinet. You ex the person, one of the people who created the animation in this video. I also sell Apo Birdo from your resident Eldritch Abomination. You're outstanding and amazing chill person. Stay epic. Hope to clap with you one day. Wow, look at that drawing. There's so much happening here. I see you, Rhino. I think this is Spain. This might be you. Yes, this is UX himself. Me, of course, with my little uh, <laughs> boat hat. <laughs> that drawing in the background. It is me, King. Wow, good job on this. So many elements. And uh, day there. Uh, I tried to do it, but I have run into some difficulties, but that's not important. It's your birthday, so um, happy birthday, Cecile. Sorry for the crappy drawing, hey! You have to be so self-deprecating. Microwave. <laughs> Is that a cake? Yeah, yeah, I would do that. <laughs> Once I suggested microwaving cocoa pie, which isn't a real pie, but some people thought it was. When they replied to me, they were like, wouldn't that melt? So yeah. Probably would microwave. Cake. <laughs> Pastry just tastes better when it's warm. Thank you, Zedira. Lovely representation. Of what happens on my birthday. I've read. Hi, Cecile. I'm a new viewer, and I'm mostly tuned into your streams while I'm drawing to chill. The voice is so relaxing, combined with the back music. Wishing you a happy birthday. Here's a drawing, and I think probably a representation of themselves having a balloon. Thank you, Ifrit. Oh, Ifrit. And this back music. Combined with these messages are very relaxing. I could say the same. You and creations. And Min Max. Hi, Cecile. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Here's some more scuffed streams and beautiful art. Thank you, Min Max. And the lovely double Cecile drawing. Mm, two Cecile's is better than one. I just wake up, I would love to watch stream, but I need to do my school test. T carrot T. So happy birthday, mom. <laughs> yeah, Shiroi. Thank you for donating and good morning. Good luck on your test. The chess substancy. Here's to more birthdays. Cheers. Stay safe and take care. Take on my head. I mean, of my amazing balance skills. Oh, also, Ricky and Demist. Thank you for rejoining the membership. I didn't miss any others. Hi. Hi, Sissy. I just want to take some time out of my day and do this art for you. Happy birthday, and I wish you many, many more birthdays to come. Keep up the grind. Buff Annie and Buff Sissy. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> you want to get crushed between my biceps? The service I offer. <laughs> yes. Yes, mommy. Hear you. Benlin. Yo, sissy, you're not really good at words, but you inspired me to do digital art. 
He gave me that one final push I needed. Yeah. I can't read them fast enough. I poured everything in this art. Happy birthday, Cecile. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I'm trying to enlarge it. Very high effort. I can tell. Thank you so much, Villain, for the beautiful artwork. And stay inspired. Keep painting. Thank you, and thank you, Shiramai. Happy B-Day, Cecil. Thank you for helping me start getting to art. The thing you've taught me have helped me a lot. So please continue being my teacher and teach me more. Shiramai is known as my typo on Discord. And wow. Look at you. I, I saw, I've seen Shiramai's art from the beginning. Of their art journey. Look at that. You can tell. They put a lot of hard work into this. Breezy, thank you for rejoining the membership. Yo, Kun. Happy birthday, Cecile. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to all of us. It means a lot to celebrate your best day for you with you. I wish you good luck and great health. Have fun. P.S. Don't stress yourself out too much. We care about you. Thank you, Shiro-kun. And... <laughs> what is this? A shrine? Or a gallery? <laughs> gallery of the cells. I like that you included a little nightmare one in there. And Shikamaru! Happy birthday, Cecile. You've inspired me to improve my art and try different things within it. Thank you a bunch. Shikamaru! You are someone that I admire because you, I can tell you have so much motivation and drive to draw. You push out so much artwork that is fully drawn with backgrounds. I'm so impressed by that. And this is another cute film that you have added to your collection of many social drawings. Rhino, another one of the people who helped create the putting together of this video. There was a lot of things in life that I attached words can't and won't to, but when I found out about you, that became motivation for me to get better. Happy birthday, Cecile. Dick, Peter, Ad, Ezra. That's one journey to the stars. You're going to make fun of me for the pronunciation of that phrase and this drawing rhino says was his interpretation of a human cecile of course he has to include the purple hair favorite color very cute and great rhino i really thank you by the way cecile's trash can is owned by rhino who creates um edits of my streams when he wants to on this channel so you can go check that out and rejo happy cake day to you dear sissy hope you liked our gift remember to update your software oh it's okay i can run on windows 7 <laughs> and this is um what is that website called i forgot but I, I suppose this is you and me. I think you made it really well. Thank you for that. Pick, pick room, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ray, happy birthday, Cecil. Cecil, thank you for your hard work. And I think this is me and Ray. You know it's so cute when you guys draw me together with your OC. <laughs> One of the cutest ways you can draw fan art. And Melissa, be happy. Today is the day you are brought into this world to be a blessing and inspiration to the people around you, Cecile. You are a wonderful person and so is your art. May you be given more birthdays to fulfill all your dreams. Happy birthday, Cecile. 
<laughs> and this is uh, once again me. This I believe. And another me coming out the cake. <laughs> is that a strawberry on the cake? Because if so, yes please. I love strawberry on the cake. Delicious. Thank you so much, Melissa. Done! Happy birthday, Cecile! I've only known you for five months, yet here I'm giving my continuous all in respect to you. I, I'm hoping for your wish this year to come true. Looking forward to continue working with you. Thank you so much, Sean. Sean is uh, one of my most active mods on YouTube, so you might have seen Sean around. And I <laughs> also have a lot of respect for you, Sean, because you, you do the most. Whenever I ask something from my mods, you go out of your way to do it the best that you can, and I appreciate that so much. So shout out to Sean for being an extremely good mod. Snake Eyes, happy birthday Cecile, thanks for the streams, they're really chill and just kind of really nice to listen to. Anyways, my hair anime girls are top tear, I absolutely agree, and I also think that color that you colored the dress is also top tear, and the snake as well, very aesthetic. Demi! Hoi hoi! I just want to wish you a happy birthday, Sissy, and I hope that you get spoiled a lot with new upgrades to your system. I haven't drawn you much lately, but I hope this makes up for it. You and your wife are always so cute, so thank you for the fun, laughs, and happiness you bring. Those of you who don't know, this is uh, Yo Clash, a fellow YouTuber who uh, streamed once with me, and we're probably going to do some more collabs in the future. <laughs> But this is such a cute fan art of the both of us. And Sammy is one of the people who have drawn quite a number of Cecile fan art, guys. I think Sammy's Twitter is the Sammy. So if you want to see Sassy art, you can check Sammy out. Yes, he has. Yeah, and a few of them are emojis on my Discord. Moon. Moon is Moon is saying your birthday's over, it's my time now. <laughs> UJ! Hi there, Cecile. Happy birthday. I wish the your very best. Please do enjoy your time celebrating. Your personality and your art has motivated and changed me from being lazy and drawing crappy drawings into a less lazy person who's enjoying his time on um, improving on his hobbies. And also, I joined the Discord server for art and found a wonderful community. Please continue being great, and I hope that the feature brings us more fun memories. Oh, well, thank you, QJ, and I'm really proud of you for stepping out of your shell in the Discord server, and I'm glad you still enjoy it there. And I guess now I'm the only lazy person out of the two of us. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, QJ. Okay, we're more than halfway through this video. Zarin! Happy birthday, Cecile! Ever since Hana dragged me into the server, I felt like I've had another place to call home. Thank you for inspiring us and making our days in quarantine better. I'm glad you enjoy the server, Zarin. And... Is this Moon? <laughs> this is so adorable. Moon is currently sleeping. or well, not sleeping. He's just chilling right in front of me right now, in between me and my laptop. So, soon safe. <laughs> Low cap, today is another day for us to do what we do. Today might be a special day for certain someone, so for whatever reason, I hope today is your special day. Thank you, Low cap. And yes, it is me who is reading this, and it's my special day, so. I love how you wrote that. Iden Moose. Ho ho. I just realized your name is 
Aiden. I'm pretty sure I've been pronouncing your name wrong this whole time. Oh, I'm just here to say happy ejection from the what? No, can't say that. Uh, happy birthday. Also, I love your art so much. Especially the goad. Mmm, the goad. So wrong about saying the word womb. <laughs> Thank you, Aiden. I will continue, Aiden. I will continue to draw more and more gold. Thank you. Linzar, happy birthday to the best VTuber and the worst co cook. And probably worst pronunciation in English <laughs> that you've ever heard. Thank you, Kleintar. Oh, Moon, don't click stuff, please. Lie back down. Vamp! Wow! Look at that. Oh! Moon's knocking everything off. Once forgotten by her creator, not much is known about the android named Cecile. She knew she had talent and skill, so she became a VTuber for the fame and thrill. With just a few strokes of her brush, she can make people stare and hush. She has a voice so calm and peaceful. With the use of her artistic talent, she can make anything beautiful. She made a Discord that's never a bore, where all kinds of like-minded people can enjoy and explore. A place where people can find artists, musicians, editors, and more. A great place to make friends and then many more. The more this artistic android streams, the more followers she grew. It was then she knew she is loved and that people enjoy watching her do whatever artistic thing her android heart wanted her to do. Thank you, Cecile, for the enjoyment and friends you have given us as we look forward to many more. Happy birthday, Cecile! I hope you have a great day and don't forget that many people love you and care about your well-being. This is such a clever poem. Vamp, I appreciate it so much. And I admire your effort into uh, constructing this. Thank you so much, Vamp. You are the sweetest. Oh, and I also just wanted to say that I liked the inclusion of some lore in there. <laughs> Noob PTFO. Hey, Sissy, happy birthday. You're one year older and another year wiser. But most importantly, today is all about you. Oh. Yes, you, that talented android who's hard at work, making art, and on that uni grind. You've given so much people a lovely place <clears throat> to relax and hang out, a haven amidst an unprecedented time of uncertainty and change. Not only have you brought peace, but inspiration as well with your artistry and well as simply being you. To cut to the chase, whether you realize it or not, you have done so much for your community and we are so grateful for it. So please enjoy your birthday, I swear. I would have given you some cake, but I probably ate it. That's alright, I guess. <laughs> Just, um, I guess. I guess I could... I guess I could afford to lose a little bit more weight. You know, with all the weight that I'm already losing, just a little bit more won't hurt. <laughs> Eating one meal a day. But thank you, noob. And the way you wrote this mission sounds like I achieved world peace. But, yeah. I'm just that amazing. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you so much, noob, for the sweet message. Dragon. Oh crap. Sissy. What is this? Roleplay? <laughs> Cecile. And I. It will keep going on like this. Cecile asks herself that question every time in the mirror. <laughs> what? I don't film myself declining. Hell. I'm a machine. <laughs> what the fuck? Bible chapter. But for some reason, my youth feels as though it is declining. I'm still technically young, I suppose. And again, do... Do I even qualify as young anymore? Or should I accept that? I moved past that. 
I worry about this all the time. By the way, my face is frozen because of Moon. Being alone for my birthday this year in this room really makes you think about things you usually wouldn't. I'm fed up with all this anxiety and all this panic. So what am I supposed to do? I know, a birthday party, one like never before with friends all around. That way, if we can all laugh and have fun, at least some of this loneliness will go away. And if I can share these issues with other people who are in the same boat, maybe we can all come up with something to hope for. Okay, time to gather everybody up and go have a good time. <laughs> that just says, what is this? I hope this doesn't take me two hours to read. Belle dashes out of her house. The first person she runs into happens to be Bane Fairy. Bane, I'm having a party and you're joining. Cecile quickly stated her intentions. Bane Fairy, um, what? Bane asked with a confused look on his face. Bill, I said you're joining it, Cecile said louder. Bane Fairy, I'm not sure I can't. Before Bane could finish, Cecile pushes him. As he lays on the floor, confused from the events that just happened, Cecile runs away with tears in her eyes. Cecile attempts to get others, but they all turned her down very abruptly. It was odd to Cecile, but she was too depressed to really give it any thought. Don't worry, it takes time to enjoy it. Well, the birthday party is officially cancelled, and I just put in the reservations to my favorite bar. Disappointed, Cecile starts to head home. When I arrive in front of the door, I feel an empty sorrow come over myself. Even when I open this door, there is no one on the other side waiting for me. All that's there is the same old lonely room. No, I don't want to open this door. Maybe I should just head to the bar. No, I can't do that. Nothing solved if I run off to alcohol. Cecile, I'll just go to bed. Cecile sighs and opens the door. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh. You're late, sissy. We finished the preparations for the birthday party already. Eh? Cecile? Cecile was sitting cross-legged in the middle of the room. No, it's not just her. Her friends. All the people Cecile invited out are here together. Zero. Charade, thank you so much for the $50 donation. Wow, I rarely see that color. What is that? that rose, rose red. <laughs> thank you so much, Zero Charade. And thank you for joining the membership again. I'm sorry, uh, I recognize you in chat all the time, but I still don't know how to pronounce your name. You mind telling me? And Zero, um, just to catch you up with what's happening, I finished the request join part of my stream, and right now I'm watching this video that my Discord server put together for me. So that's the last thing we're doing in the stream. Okay. Our friends, all the people Cecile invited out, are here together. Cecile, wh why? Cecile asked on the verge of tears. Ray, I thought perhaps we could gather like this and talk. Ray tries to hide her bashfulness as she says that. The room is all set up with treats and drinks that brings a very strong yet welcoming ar aroma to the already lively room. Everybody must have pitched in. It's amazing, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's amazing how different this same old room looks in the house. And right at this moment, Bill doesn't feel lonely at all. Under normal circumstances, Bill would take a moment like this for granted. But now, seeing her surrounded by people who truly, truly care for her, she could not appreciate it more as she smiled now, not with tears of sorrow, but with that of happiness. <laughs> Bell Dragon! I did not know that you are a writer. And I believe this is probably the first <clears throat> fan fiction. <laughs> the 
I ever read in myself. Dragon says, I hope I did right by you, mom. I tried my best to make it short. It was a lovely length. Just perfect for reading this on stream. And I hope I did you right in my performance. <laughs> reading it was such a unique, I guess I would say, gift. And um, it's just the, the story. I would have to say it's probably accurate. <laughs> so I'm the type of person who, since I'm an adult now, I no longer celebrate my birthday because my parents are no longer throwing a birthday party for me. And I can't be bothered to pick myself off my ass to do anything about it myself. <laughs> so if I, if I didn't have you guys to stream to today, I probably wouldn't have done anything at all. <laughs> So thank you guys for actually having given me something, some some people to celebrate with. And this is just a clip. Well, the drawings I can see finally see them up close, and also UX and Rhino. I'm not sure which one of you made this part, but I like how I matched the beat. Whoa. Damn, okay, so this is really everyone who was in this video. Look at that. And so cute. Hello again. Video UX and Rhino. And forget the credits. On graphics, Bane Fairy. I thought I recognized Bane's art. I'm assuming Bane did something here too. And, um, music, Gim, Gimson, Gimson, lovely music, actually, I really like the music, this is their link, anybody who wants to check them out, Our messages, wow, like probably like some of the highest effort somebody put into doing anything for me bro check the comments let's go where's they sell and good job to everyone involved it was fun seeing everyone work together it was great being in this great job everyone mina san otsukare sama desta desta sell if you see this happy birthday we wish you all the best Happy birthday to our beloved Android VTubers of sale. Hope you enjoy. Happy birthday, boss man. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to our queen. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Well, thank you, Phoebe Mess, Vin, Yumai, Kido, Kudo, Rhino, Dragon, Vamp, Sean, Hana, UX, and for the comments. Okay. <laughs> And yes, Dragon said it. Great work, everyone involved. And I think that made a very, very nice ending to my uh, uh, birthday stream. So thank you guys so much for that. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> and for a second, I almost didn't stream today. I'm glad I could react to that on stream for you guys. And yeah, let me just get ready to end the stream. <laughs> so, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. I feel like I'm, I'm sort of host. <laughs> and donating. Thank you most of all to the pig donators. There were several of you guys. Galaxy, thank you for donating. Caught me just at the end here. And good night to you guys. You have certainly gave me a birthday worth remembering. 
especially for someone that was not planning to celebrate my birthday in the first place. Yeah, that was so very sweet of all of you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the request drawing I did during this stream. I'm glad we ended with a uh, higher effort one. That was a good idea, I think. And I will talk to you guys later. Next stream and on Discord. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, and UX. I did check hashtag celebration on Twitter. Very creative hashtag there. Yes, that is. I saw many of the artworks that were in the video. So I hope I included all of them in the gallery. Please let me know if I didn't. Alright, good night guys.